Hello, I'm Alan Stevens. Welcome to Chatoon, the show that's about chatting and cartooning. It's kind of where we got the name from. We're at the Comedy Store to celebrate 25 years of the Comedy Store players. We're going to be interviewing Richard Vranch and Neil Malarkey. And with me is a brilliant cartoonist, Simon Elinas, who's going to be Hello. cartooning while we're speaking. So let's go see them, shall we? Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Comedy Store dressing room. Thank you. So, Neil, you, you've been here 25 years with the Comedy Store players. How does that feel? Fantastic. If you'd have said to me 25 years ago we'd still be here, I'd have laughed in your face. Certainly 24 years ago, we thought it was going to end. The guy said, who runs the Comedy Store, said, I can't afford to pay anymore. Just take a split of the door. But within six weeks, people started coming again, and it was OK. When we first started doing it, there wasn't really a comedy circuit, there wasn't really a comedy career structure. We did it because we had nothing else to do, and we liked each other, and we got together and had fun. And luckily, the audience did too. And the great thing is, that's still the reason we do it, even though, of course, we're now all multi-millionaires with yachts. Fantastic. And so Simon's cartooning away in the background. Do you see a connection between cartoons drawn on paper and, and stand-up comedy? Uh, I think with improv comedy, stand-up comedy, and cartoons, you've got to be clear and concise. There's no waffle. Though there are serious cartoons too. I mean, I love uh, political cartoons which are chillingly serious and not just a laugh. However, you have to be concise, get your point across, and get the joke in before people are expecting it. If you don't do that, you're lost in both mediums. And who's your favourite cartoonist? <laughs> I like Nick Newman. He's clear, funny, and manages to get over a joke without too much drawing. Uh, well, if I was showing off, I'd say Posada, the Mexican political cartoonist. <laughs> but um, I really like Steve Bell. He does stuff in The Guardian and is funny and political. Very good stuff. So have either of you ever been tempted to become cartoonists? I can't draw. I can't draw either. I can't sing. But that hasn't stopped me. <laughs> but that hasn't stopped me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I, there's something wrong with my education. So, 25 years of the Comedy Store players, do you think you'll make it to 50? I shall be s 53 then. That's the first time you revealed your real age to mathematicians. One of us might still be alive by then. We haven't got a very good succession plan, frankly. We should start looking at people under 50, perhaps, to come and help us. Any ideas? And by the time it's 50 years, we'll have found a way of communicating with the dead and we'll be able to improvise from the great beyond. Take suggestions from the dead as well. Why not? I, th I think the, uh, the bubble of, uh, was it was a baby boomer bubble, is going through. We're kind of, we're entertaining that demographic need and that will continue into death. I think it's time, guys. Simon, show us the cartoon. Here you go. Oh, oh that's yes. fantastic! That's amazing! <laughs> that's that's good. Good. That really What's going on? You're a league with the devil. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Can we have it? Thank you. Hurrah! Splendid. Which one's me? Uh, we'll be missing that hair for 25 years. That's fantastic. Yes. <laughs> true. We have awesome. worn the white shirts. <laughs> How have you done that? How have you? How has he done that? Genius. <laughs> 